<laughs> hey guys, I'm Jason Craze. I'm one of the founders here at Monument Hobbies. Uh, we're just a, a hobby company made by nerds that uh, loves painting and the uh, world of wargaming and miniatures in general. Uh, we started making paint back in 2018, but the company's been around since 2016, designing brushes and carry supplies and things like that. Um, now we've grown over the, the handful of years into one of the world's best paint companies. We're very noticed for our pro-curl. Uh, and uh, been doing it for a long time, continue on. We keep making great, great paints. Uh, we've just come out with our signature series line in 2023, which works with a lot of artists in the community, like Ben Comets, John Minas, Vincent Chirella, and so on, that uh, have done really well. A lot of people supporting the content creators and teachers that uh, are spreading the love of painting throughout the world. Uh, and this year at the show, we're releasing three new paints uh, that are sets by Louise Sugden of Rogue Hobbies, uh, Mashik Vanacek, who is here painting, showing off his non-metallic gold set, uh, Flame on Miniatures, and then the Adepticon set, so uh, a set that we developed with the showrunners here uh, that is for their spray team that has some amazing colors in it too. And our goal is really simple, have fun, do cool stuff with cool people, and keep the hobby. Yeah, so like I was saying, the, um, the bold titanium white there is like the best stuff in the world. It's crazy because we, you know, we started, the whole business started from being a live stream and we were just showing our painting off and teaching people how to paint miniatures and use acrylics and various techniques. And one day I was painting, I remember it like it was yesterday, it's 2016, <laughs> I'm painting Eidolon from the Emperor's Children Forge World model back when the only heresy stuff you could get was super expensive and I had a, a commissioner that was we were painting, he has a white cloak. Right, would you like and I was using every brand's white under the sun and I got really frustrated during the live stream. Um, and it's kind of just out of the blue said, all right, to heck with this, we stripped the cloak and I said, I'm gonna make white paint and I'm gonna make this work. And so we used some very high end acrylics, uh, Windsor go. Newton, Enjoy. and then I mixed in a blend of mediums to get to airbrush really nice um, and made white. And then people were like, oh my gosh, you know, if you could make that, we'd buy it because it just was super fluid. And uh, the magic was how to get it to be fluid and maintain the quality that an artist-grade paint does as a paste, right? Because you're not really used to diluting those down into a liquid for us um, and put them through an airbrush. And so I did it and we started making it. Uh, we started working with a pigment manufacturer and we just hand mixed it, you know, at home and we couldn't keep up. My partner Jen and I were, you know, we could only do about 100 or 150 bottles at a time. We were buying bottles off of Amazon that were like for, I don't know, Faith liquid or something like that, you know, and just hand filling. We had little, you know, uh, funnels and we're pouring out of bottles, mixing it in a bucket, you know, and it's silly. It was just, you know, garage style DIY oh, yeah. at its finest. And we could, by the time we got 150 in stock, we already had 200 orders. So we it was couldn't a, sell them. Um, a logarithmic scale. Yeah, and we had to say, well, you know, white doesn't get you there. You can't just make one color, so then the whole line. We started researching how to get to where we can make every color under the sun and had to deal with finding a uh, a pigment supplier and figure out our medium and how we could keep it matte the way we wanted to and just all the science behind the paint the way it operated and then we were like well let's make it even better let's make it have you become a chemist <laughs> only 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 by duress you know i know enough to be dangerous now i do all of the base pigment mixing so all of our colors start from raw uh base pigment so a green is a green not a yellow and a blue mixed together um, and so I take all of the base. We've got about 28 different pigments that we use, and I use that to create the colors. Then it goes off to the lab, and the lab puts the formula in it to make sure that it all reacts well in our formula that's been known for pro -acryl. Um And generally, we've got it down to a science where you don't have to know the science anymore. It was all done up front to get the formula right, to get to act the way we want it to act, and now it's really just have the fun make the colors. That's awesome. Um, so the big one, How's your yellows? <laughs> yellows are great. The uh, you know because we're we're doing single pigments yellow. All all colors at their base level. There are very few true opaque colors. Carbon blacks, titanium whites, things like that give a good opacity. Everything else is very translucent. So you wind up and part of the mix and part of the science behind it is trying to get opacity built into colors that are not naturally opaque and not desaturate them too much. Still get vibrancy that you want. So the yellows are going to be what we call like two coat colors, while everything else is pretty good as a one. Oranges too, like pyrrole orange as a pigment is very translucent. And so if you want it to be bright and, and intense, you're not gonna be able to have it be very opaque because as you're adding whites or blacks or grays to it to give it opacity, you're now desaturating the color. So you'll find that the brighter colors will tend to be a little less opaque, so it'll be two coat, let them try, put another coat on it. But yeah, they work all the same. 
we shoot for the same thing. Our newer, like our bismuth that is just coming out uh, in the Rogue Hobby set is a pure pigment bismuth yellow, and its coverage is fantastic. So you've got, you know, the Louis Sugden set from Rogue Hobbies, and we've got a bismuth, pure single pigment bismuth yellow, and its coverage is fantastic. So. The, um, when did you uh, venture into textures? Oh, geez, our first texture paints came out in probably 2020, and then we added to the line in 2022 with six new ones, adding color, because people started. We made a fine texture and a coarse texture because I just paint over them anyway, yeah. so we just made it gray, you know. Yeah. And then people are like, do you have anything in Martian red, you know, and all of this. And so we, then we made some colors and, of course, came out with snow and cement. Uh, the snow is really nice. Yeah, great. And, yeah. it, you know, I, I tend to use the finer grit stuff to be, uh, like, for a smaller scale, like six or eight millimeter epic scale stuff that works. It looks like rough ground. So, yeah, we yeah. use it for all sorts of stuff. So. And busts. So the the miniatures, we're the North American rep for Mineworks games. So all the Mineworks models that you see at the show, we're the rep here. So we distribute those out to retailers and direct to customers. And then we do our own miniature line of what we call texture traders that are like uh, bass relief sculpts. Uh, you can see our fun little gold chain version of it here at the show, right? But they're neat little uh, uh, material trainers that give you the ability to just have a bust that is uh, a little less ambitious than most so that you can practice painting hair, skin, leather, all the materials that you want to focus on, non-metallic metal if you want to. And at 20 bucks, you're not afraid to paint over it again and use it to try a new color on it and things like that. So teaching tools is really what they're meant for. And hey gang, Griffin Gaming is going to be doing a giveaway for the new Adepticon spray team set being released here at the show. The details for that will be down in the description below and good luck to the lucky winner.